right? So this is the, the building where I live, right? I don't live there, right? right? Um, so again, the program says I can buy any city-owned parcel that doesn't have a structure on it, right? That is on my block. So most of these lots, right? Um, are able uh, are, are available for me to purchase again. To, that, that was a very quick thing. I just typed in the address and I zoomed into my block uh, versus going through like five different screens, right? So that's a big piece. If you scroll down, so now that I have a lot, click on one of the lots. Scroll up. Click on this one. Yeah, click on that. Yeah. So this is 6800 South Union Avenue, right? To apply for the lot, I need to have the address of the parcel. I need to capture the pin. Now, usually to capture the pin, and I'm going to have Derek talk about the back end of this, right? Usually to get the pin, you have to go to like the county assessor's website and then do all this other stuff, right? So, uh, data may pull all that information in, put it on um, this site. So, you click on a lot that you're interested in, you get the address and the pin. So, now you scroll down. By the way, that picture of the beautiful empty lot, it comes from your county assessor. That's right. And, your county, and the county assessor goes around and looks at all the properties and takes pictures of them. And they've, um, they've generously started to provide that to the public. So if you ever want to look at a picture of any piece of land or any building, it's out there now. You don't have to do Google Maps, just so you know. That's it. So then you have the lot. You have to make sure you're eligible, right? Make sure it's on the same block. It has to be owned by the city. No vacant build, uh, no buildings on the lot. The city does own properties, apparently, that yeah. have like, structures. I didn't know that until we, uh, we did this uh, site. Uh, making sure that people knew that there's these ordinances for maintaining vacant lots that you have to be aware of, like you need a fence and you can't have litter and trash building up on this lot. Otherwise, the city will love to come and ticket you because we have a deficit, right? And so keep scrolling down if you're a nonprofit, because if you're a nonprofit on property on the block, you can also purchase lots as well, but no churches. Um, and that was, I think the residents were. I think so. Yeah, that was, that was uh, that's not the city, that's the residents speaking. So, see, churches are not eligible. Right. Um, step three, put together your application. So one thing that we saw on the city website, all the information that you needed to apply, all the documents, the forms were there, but there was no clear distillation of the, the packet, right? Um, actually, there was a nice list, but it was in a PDF, right? So this is a very clear four-part application process. The form itself, you need to get a copy of your deed, right? And then you file an economic disclosure statement, which is its own process. If you keep scrolling down, you know, you have a place where you can download the PDF, right? And you keep scrolling down. We walk you through how to. What's the deed? Um, yeah, so we walk you through how to get a copy of your deed. A deed is like your certificate of ownership, is that right? For your property, right? And the deed travels with the property. So if I sell Kathy a piece of property, she now has the deed, right? So you have to prove that you own the property on the block of the lot that you're trying to purchase, right? But this was its own process, too. Most people don't know their pin by heart. Right? Actually, when it came to this step, the person I was working with, uh, Aisha Shemuga Finch, I don't even know their pen. But oh. I think it was good that we had this step to find out your parcel pen, right? Um, and then uh, also steps for downloading uh, for $2.50 a PDF of your deed from the Cook County uh, website, right? <laughs> and so if you don't have a copy of your deed laying around, you can easily, for $2.50, go through that. That was not like told in the city's application process, but that was helpful information. I don't think we knew that. See, so, so we went through, when I spent like a, a day or two, probably too long, uh, trying to figure out how this application process works, right? So again, we're just going through step by step, yes? Wasn't the, you're saying to uh, uh, to link off at cookcountypropertiesinfo.com, but wasn't the pin of the own property l uh, larger when you type in your own address? You, you, you could, yeah. You, well, yeah, so the only time your pin comes up is when you click on a parcel. Right, a city owned parcel. That's when they will pull the data in. That's the thing you want to buy. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, you want to that's buy. the thing you want to buy. Your own yeah. yeah. that. So that list is the city's list, right? So the city yes. lots are all from. So that's just mm -hmm. all, all you get on that is all the city owned lots, which we think we own. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're pretty sure. Quick claim. <laughs> <laughs> so keep scrolling down. So now you have your deed, right? So I have the large application form. I put my, the pin of the property. I want the address. I have a copy of my deed. Now I fill out this economic disclosure statement, which you can do online. It walks you through how to do that. What is it? 
Um, it is literally the result of years of corruption in Chicago. <laughs> that's, that's what that's about, right? Uh, it's about so, you can't have outstanding traffic tickets or outstanding um, child support, stuff like that, or be related to something. To have city bureaucrats or yeah, other right, people. Right. So it's all of that. Yeah, every city employee who worked has to fill one of these out. Um, it's like every time you do business with the city, you have to fill one yeah. of these out. It's the main way the city learns about who they're doing business with in order to avoid corruption, basically. So just for perspective, it's an online web form or a 13 page PDF. Right. And so, um, you know, just sort of giving legal advice, we just sent people to the city of Chicago website to do that online. And then you take all these paper documents and a certificate of uh, filing, scroll down, and then you submit your application. This should say room 509. I found out this one. Right. So, 509, 905. 905. Oh, man. Yeah. So, uh, we, 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 the mayor, he's not managing those. We can do that, right? For some reason, we, it was a 30 anyway. It was on the PDF. Oh, no, 309. Yeah. It was on the PDF. Um, so we are, and that's, and that's the application. So again, the idea was we, we wanted to do Two things. One, make it very easy for people to find an available parcel that was eligible on their block. And two, walk through the application process. And that's it. And so, again, it was Teamwork Inglewood. Uh, the program was probably invented by residents of Range with the city of Chicago. Teamwork Inglewood stepped in to help make the application process easier. We worked with the to get it done. Derek can talk about the back end and what they did. Uh, 